Welcome to our series on the history of Russian design. These are four uh, short films, about 20, 25 minutes long, that was produced by Moscow Design Museum and that we are going to show every Thursday at four o'clock for the next four Thursdays, starting today. And um, today we have, again, uh, as a very special guest, um, uh, our, our wonderful collaborator for the exhibition Everyday Soviet, Alexandra Sankova, who is the director of Moscow Design Museum. Hello. She, yes, she's going to say a few words about the film. And after the film, we will open the floor for uh, Q&A. Sasha, welcome. Well, thank you, Julia, for organizing this event uh, together with Moscow Design Museum. Uh, we're very happy um, to share and um, um, to um, screen uh, this uh, movie, this documentary. Actually, this is the first documentary on the history of Russian design that have ever, ma ever made, ever was made. <laughs> and uh, we were um, the first ones. Uh, and then we are very happy that um, uh, the director of the movie um, uh, is, she's, she wanted to be not uh, pointed in the uh, titles, but uh, uh, Elena Nikitaeva, she's an art director of the state uh, channel culture, and she's a very great graphic designer, uh, one of the best ones in Russia. Uh, so the whole uh, graphic design uh, of the movie and titles and all the images, uh, the whole style of the uh, series was made by her. She is um, our director in TV channel culture for more than 10 years and have got all the possible uh, media and TV awards in Russia. This is about the um, uh, visual part of the movie. Uh, I would like to tell a bit about um, uh, what, what this movie is about uh, with my colleague Svetlana Cherkova that you will meet uh, during next uh, screenings. Uh, we were working on this movie and uh, decided to make it up to the TV format, a short series, 23 minutes each. And um, mm, uh, each uh, series devoted to the uh, part of the history of Russian design. So first uh, as, um, movie is on avant-garde, second devoted to the history of uh, Soviet design, third one to the uh, Institute of Technical Aesthetics and so-called um, design was so-called in uh, the Soviet times, technical aesthetics and designers were uh, artistic engineers. There were no design word in the Soviet Union. And the fourth series is devoted to uh, contemporary design. And uh, uh, we were happy to film there also our art director, Stepan Lukyanov, uh, who is um, uh, art director, uh, who is a designer of the exhibition that is now recently is open in Zimmerli Museum, which will be open after the quarantine. Uh, and uh, this movie is um, very important as an event, uh, as a highlight in the design history, because we also got all the uh, temporary living Soviet designs we filmed there, and the most uh, prominent and important uh, in Russia historians, art historians, and design historians, uh, directors of the major um, Russian museums. So we tried to uh, involve in this uh, movie uh, most of the um, the most important um, critics and uh, um, um, experts. And uh, I'm very happy uh, to share these materials that we um, succeeded to put together uh, with you today. So let's watch the film and uh, we are looking forward to the discussion after the film. Well, thank you very much, Sasha, for such a wonderful and very informative film. I think it's a very uh, needed film because it, it, it talks about the history of um, avant-garde and uh, avant-garde design um, in a very, um, you know, unique way, very, very powerful way and very clear one. And um, it's, a, it's a substantial scholarly film, but also it's... Uh, is available for a wider audience and I think it's, it's, it serves a great 
uh, tool for popularizing the ideas of uh, the Russian avant-garde. And um, I um, am welcoming our audience to ask questions, but uh, uh, also I would like to ask uh, Sasha, how did you come up with the idea of uh, this film? And uh, uh, where did you film it? Because it's the background for the speakers. Uh, there are, you know, obviously wonderful exhibitions that showcase the examples of uh, the avant-garde design. Um, in this series, we are showing up like very, very um, few seconds of what we have filmed. Um, we were uh, preparing this project for more than two years and most of the um, backgrounds is exhibitions that were devoted to avant-garde. Uh, they are not so often, uh, um, it's not so, such an often event, avant-garde exhibitions in Russia. And we uh, were trying to, al along these two years, uh, to film all uh, the exhibitions that were on show. Our exhibitions uh, um, on film posters, uh, Stenberg, brother Stenberg, who were the most uh, um, uh, prominent uh, Soviet uh, uh, designers for uh, cinema posters. And uh, in Pushkin Museum, we were lucky uh, to film at the exhibition uh, visiting Rochenko and Stepano. This was an exhibition uh, that was um, based on the archive and um, uh, a gift of the family of Rochenko and Stepanova that was made to Pushkin Museum. It's a museum of European art, but they have a also part of the museum's private collections private gifts and um, uh, in the movie, uh, one of the art historians who are uh, explaining about works of Rochenka and uh, his ideas for graphic design, Alexander Lavrentiev. He is the vice president of Stroganov Academy of Applied Arts and Design. And he is a grandchild of Rochenka Stepanov. So practically the whole exhibition that is there, it is a gift of his family. And we were very honored to have, uh, that we had a possibility uh, to interview him. Um, and um, about um, the idea of the movie, I was studying in the university, in uh, Stroganov University, and my professor was Lavrentiev, Alexander Lavrentiev. He was my design history teacher. But one, when I was studying in the university, they were I, there was a lack of materials in Russia regarding history of design and um, there were no movies and there were no really books written about uh, the history in whole uh, and there were no um, permanent exhibitions on the history of Russian design. So first we came up with the idea, I came up with the idea to open a design museum and then as a uh, um, as a um, a main source of popularization and making um, uh, a general public know, know about the uh, uh, history of Russian design, we decided to make this series and uh, broadcast it and uh, prepare it especially in the T format and show, up, show, uh, uh, show those series, uh, broadcast them on the state TV channel. Uh, so this was um, uh, really um, the best way uh, to promote the uh, uh, history of Russian design. Because uh, regarding uh, that now every, the whole world is on the internet and um, uh, now everything is online. Uh, in Russia, it's very, uh, it's, it is a very uh, important tool, a TV. Everyone is looking TV. Yes, it's around the world also. But you said that uh, you came, uh, uh, came up with the idea of creating the, uh, this institution, Moscow Design Museum, and you created it uh, basically from scratch, as I understand it. And, uh, and now it's made uh, many multiple exhibitions in, uh, on uh, Soviet design from avant-garde to present uh, all over the world and uh, including recent exhibitions such as Fantastic Plastic and uh, so it's, it's really a very broad spectrum 
um, of topics that you present. Uh, can you please uh, share with us how you came up with this idea? Because this is such an exciting enterprise. Yeah, this was a very um, uh, unexpected also for me uh, project because I was uh, um, I, I was working as curator and uh, um, bringing uh, foreign designers, um, European American designers to Russia, uh, organizing events with them, exhibitions and um, workshops. But then I realized that this is a very small effort. This is very small. Um, compared to the whole Russia and uh, what uh, is needed to be done and that uh, just a very like few events a year and they, uh, there is no system in that. It's not enough for, uh, to educate uh, and to uh, designers and to make, um, uh, to uh, reinforce um, collaboration and international collaboration and also collaboration uh, of the community, uh, design community in Russia. And then we decided to, I decided to make design museum and my, I found some friends, colleagues, who are now my colleagues, and they supported my idea. Uh, and uh, I decided uh, to participate as volunteers in the project. So uh, architects, designers, um, uh, art historians who started to work uh, on the first exhibitions. And this is very amazing uh, that when we started as a young team well, that has not, have, have never done any exhibitions before, together. We uh, first person we uh, approached to and wanted to collaborate with was Marina Lashak, who is now director of Pushkin Museum of European Art. At this time she was director of Manesh Central Exhibition Hall in Moscow and uh, we just met her and presented her our plan of exhibitions and uh, CV of our team and she gave us a possibility. She was just appointed as a director of this uh, cultural institution and she said why don't you open Open Zen Museum here, and it was a very, very strange and also very unexpected for the Russian reality that a person that you meet the uh, first time in your life uh, on the second meeting is proposing you to get the major exhibition space. She said, like, I trust you, ideas, I see that you are all well educated and also you're very well um, in um, you have a lot of projects in design, all of you, just uh, your young team, but I take this risk and I want to give you space. So that was amazing. And uh, the, our first exhibition was visited by, Soviet designer was visited uh, by 150,000 visitors, but that was a huge success. We didn't expect anything like that at all uh, before we opened the museum. And uh, the other uh, director that is uh, of, of Tretikov Gallery, Zilfira Trigulova, who is also in the movie when we were filming. She was already director of Tretikov Gallery, uh, but now we are part of Tretikov Gallery. Uh, we made so many um, efforts um, uh, also um, uh, approaching to Tretik of Girl to work with them, to get things from the collection or um, to collaborate with them in different projects. And when we came two years ago to Zilfira Trikulova proposing, already after the movie came out, uh, when it was screened, uh, we proposed um, uh, Zilfira to make an exhibition on the Institute of Technical Aesthetics in Tretikov Gallery. And she invited us to be part of the museum. So before we, we were um, uh, presenting and opening exhibitions on different parties locations, and now we have a permanent collaboration with Tretikov Gallery. So uh, this is uh, also very interesting that all mm, people that supported us over those years, they all appeared in the, in the movie. And uh, when we were filming, they were just partners, but now they are like a major partners of the museum. Yes, thank you, Sasha. I'm sure that uh, both uh, Marina Lashak and Zilfira Trigulova appreciated uh, not only your, uh, you know, education and, uh, and ideas, but also your um, enthusiasm and, uh, and vigor in uh, promoting this, this um, materials that were really fascinating and also um, you know I think that there are quite there are not that many um, 
precedent in uh, appreciating this uh, now historical material and um, it was probably interesting how uh, to, to collect it and uh, I'm sure you have uh, um, many stories how to uh, really uh, raise the awareness of people uh, about the uh, value of the, the design and of the utilitarian things that they uh, were used to uh, you know, employ in their everyday lives. Julian, of course, uh, this uh, 23 minutes, 26 minutes is not enough to tell the whole design um, history in details, but at least we can uh, provide uh, a very short overview of what was going on. And um, uh, I, I have in my library and I enjoyed reading book that uh, you wrote on uh, the avant-garde textiles. It's not so many uh, uh, episodes devoted to avant-garde textiles in the movie. I think it, this uh, subject is um, uh, can be um, a, a subject for the whole movie. Uh, for, uh, and, oh. and, and the separate series. Yes. Uh, uh, I wanted to ask you from the point of view of the uh, specialist of avant-garde, uh, uh, do you um, see that uh, uh, it was satis satisfactory <laughs> the information that we gave uh, in this um, uh, short series. I think it, it it's I think it was a great presentation of the avant-garde movement, uh, both from the point of view of art and uh, design, and uh, as um, and I think it's it has a very strong visual component, very strong informational component, and uh, uh, also it is uh, done in a very clear way. Um, and uh, I think that, um, as the movie makes it clear, the uh, avant-garde um, art and the avant-garde design actually, um, you know, from the uh, Russian uh, artists, constructivists and suprematists from the 1920s, uh, really defined uh, largely both the uh, development of both art and design uh, of the 20th century. And, um, as we will, uh, as we trace in our exhibition together, that is now um, in the gym, hanging in the Zimmerland, fortunately closed to the public due to quarantine. But uh, the art and design uh, became a, a truly symbiotic relationship, which um, went through different phases over the 20th century. And um, I uh, think that we will see more um, details and uh, elaboration of this idea in the future series of this film, uh, which we are going to show for the next uh, three Thursdays, also at four o'clock. So I would invite uh, everyone to join us. And we also uh, will invite uh, special guests um, to join us too, um, such as director of, uh, um, co-director of this film, and um, uh, we um, hope uh, to uh, see you again next Thursday. And please uh, do send us our uh, questions, impressions, um, concerns. Uh, we uh, will be very grateful for uh, your feedback. Thank Julie, you. Thank much. you very much for those events. And uh, we will see you next Thursday. Next, yes, I will see you next Thursday and uh, uh, looking forward to that. Uh, can you reply for there is a question? Will this episode be available for the public? Yes, uh, you can, uh, it, it will be available for the public upon request. Uh, please, um, Amanda Potter, who is behind the scene, uh, our curator for education at the Zimmerly, um, she um, is. Uh, uh, yes, you can request it, and uh, yes, so so Amanda has uh, sent the reply. So um, to this question, please do uh, write to Amanda, and uh, if you would like to watch this film again, and uh, looking forward to seeing you uh, in a week. 
Thank you very much. Merry Christmas. Today Merry is a Christmas. Christmas. Happy New Year. Year. <laughs> yeah, today is a Christmas. Uh, yes. Um, yes, today is a Russian Christmas, Orthodox Christmas, indeed. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And see you next Thursday. Bye.